Hey there guys, what's going on? Welcome to the biggest team of the season upgrade I've seen. Habert, six foot two, the jumping, the pace, the dribbling, the shooting. Could he be the best cam on the game? We need to talk. But how much is he? Very expensive. And I took a loss over 100,000 on tax. So I'd really appreciate you guys dropping a like on today's video, supporting it like mad. If you are new around here, click that subscribe button for future Team of the Season videos and hit the bell. Send all notifications from this channel to your email so you don't miss a video from me. Game codes. Who needs them? Head over to g2.com, use the code Fuji on that site to get a discount on every single order, cheap Xbox Live, PSN, all that good stuff. Link in the description and let's go. So there he is, Havertz, 95 rated. We have sold him after having used the guy in the weekend league, 2,692,000. That is very expensive. When you look at the Premier League cards, surely that's more of a popular league, yet Bundesliga, the supply and demand just doesn't really meet in the middle. You've got Royce selling at 3.5. Havertz coming out at 2.8 and I bought him stupidly. I made a mistake last night. I sniped, uh, who was it? Danny DaCosta for 350, sold him straight away for 400. Then I bought another one for 390 and his price range got adjusted to 600 on the RTG. Came out of a game, went to sell him and I swear to you, I changed the bin to 600, but because my card, my price range was glitch, remember the situation uh, with Neymar? that was it team of the group stage Neymar when his price range got upped and a lot of people were making mistakes and selling him for a million well I got caught with it so it comes around you know like the good karma the bad karma oh man I got kind of done out of 200,000 coins but you know what Danny DaCosta I'll buy him back at a later day but we need to talk about this Havertz is he really worth 2.8 million that I bought him for now he's come down to around 2.2 and not selling yet Royce is still 3.5 which is very very expensive but let's go to the pre-recorded part of this video where I show you him in the starting 11 we were using a standard 442 I switched out to a 4231 in game having Ronaldinho as the striker, Havertz as that middle cam dictating the play. And remember his future star card, I loved him. Even bought him on the RTG for a bit. He was offering him quite a bit and he had so much potential if he received a team of the season and he's got one. So looking at the player data, six foot two, medium, medium work rates, left footed, five star weak foot, four star skills. And it's rare you're gonna find someone with that high in the midfield that is a complete player like everything about this card just looks fantastic games played five goal 16 like what's happened he has been the best performing team of the season out of any card that i've tried like those stats in the weekend league is a little crazy like i haven't had that with a hazard or a eusebio or ronaldinho when i first brought them into the starting 11 so what is this guy really offering with the attributes acceleration sprint speed pretty much perfect with that height shooting 99 attack positioning, 99 finishing, shot power, long shots, volleys, perfect, really. Passing, vision 99, short pass 99. The curve a little bit lower, has that affected his finesse shots outside the box though? We've got to find out. Dribbling, with him being six foot two, that is amazing. The agility that I look for, the balance is decent. The dribbling, ball control, reactions, composure, 95. But what makes the card, the physical. The jumping, the heading accuracy, the strength, the stamina, this guy looks absolutely unstoppable in that middle cam role. Is he good enough to play as a striker? Where do I think he's best suited? Let's go into the clips, boys. Leave a like on today's video, and I'll let you know if this is the best card that I've used so far out of all of the team of the seasons. Here we go. So first thing I want to say is please try and ignore that red card. Towards the end of the run, it got a little bit heated and I received two yellows. I don't believe it was a yellow card or a second yellow. The referee was just trying to intervene. It was embarrassing for my opponents. Havertz was turning up and destroying. Five games, 16 goals. That's the best record that I've had with any team of the season that I've brought in. So is he really playing to this 2.8 million value? Oh my, uh, not far off, I've got to be honest. Now he has come down to 2.2 and bringing him into a cam position and if you're paying like this amount, he surely has to be ticking all the boxes and obviously he doesn't have the five star skills, but is it really necessary to the way he plays in game? I don't believe so. So the first thing uh, that I noticed that was a major upgrade, not only with a Bamiang, uh, Aguero, but now Havertz is the dribbling and the control that these team of the seasons have over the ball. Now, if you're someone like me that like, 
likes to get use out of the step overs and generate that power with Havertz, with him being high, long strides as well, one step over, boom, accelerating away. But not only that, can he get past the first man? If you see a defender coming in, closing him down, second man press, he can then shortly after that skill move, control the ball and that's so important if you're wanting to get past the better defenders the control the the tight turns not with ltrt dribbling the left stick so you do a step over and then right after that left stick dribbling turn weave and create chances so if you're on the edge of the box he can really find that space and he's a complete playmaker that, that when he uses his uh, strength as well to his advantage to the leverage he's really difficult to dispossess now his aggression sometimes is a bit of an issue but it depends if you've just like walked into a few players and as i was trying to test out the card i was doing that so yeah depending on the situation he can use his strength but his aggression sometimes might be a little bit of a problem but it doesn't completely kill the card the acceleration is a massive upgrade and he feels really quick to carry the ball and get past players and just get from a to b very very quick and he is a ball carrier then the finishing this guy i've got to say he is up there with one of the best shots on the game right now you think finesse shots are dead Come and play with Havertz. Now, of course, RNG is still in the game, and some of the greens that I was hitting missed. But the way he was taking the strikes, man, finishing it top bins, uh, shots across goal, inside the box, five-star weak foot as well, the volleys flicking over your head, this guy has that finish. So 97 shot on his card, you would imagine he was to put the ball in the back of the net quite consistently, and that was the truth. But you can't get around RNG on the game. So don't expect him to score 10 out of 10. But 9 out of 10 shots are flying in. Playmaking is beautiful. Like he's got the passing, the vision, the long balls that I noticed that were very good. The curve didn't really seem to affect it too much. And it did not affect the finesse shot. I think someone told me when I was streaming that his uh, trait is a finesse shot. So that is fantastic. And I noticed that in game. When I was popping them, even without any timing, like it was flying in like mad finishing then the dribbling i've already covered he feels super light on the board and just a pleasure to play with when he's six foot two you know and he's got this kind of control it's just dangerous because then what else he's offering is the aerial ability and i've got to say that he's one of the best headers that i've used on the game no over exaggeration like i love bail i love the bamyang this guy in the air i think he's better than uh, I think he's better than Bale, and I think he's better than Aubameyang. Maybe not so much Timothy or Ronaldo, but some of the balls that I whipped in are like some odd angles. He was still getting his head on it, and I think he scored uh, three to four headers uh, in the five games that I played. Just so complete, and that is the word. This guy, for 2.2 .2 million, that is worth it. And I'd love him to come down a little bit more, like 1.8, buy him on the RTG. But for what he's offering, 2 million coins just seems to be a little bit of a bargain. If he was valued at 2.5 on the market right now, I sold him for 2 million 692. I don't even feel like begrudged to be spending that much. Like 2.7 million for the way he played in game, fair enough. Like if you've got the coins, it's a luxury to bring in this complete card. But he's already come down to 2.2, which is an absolute steal. He might come down even more. But if you're opening up some rewards and this guy is in your reds, use him and abuse him now later tonight i'm going to be using marco royce and i want to compare the two cards see which one's worth it you got this guy 2.2 and royce still at 3.5 is there really going to be uh that difference uh between the two I don't know, but you look at Havertz, and if you were to compare him to the likes of Eusebio, Cruyff, and all of these guys, well, different styles. We're always going about this. Eusebio on the ball is obviously a little bit better. He has that injection of pace. He can drop past guys. You know, his finishing is just as broken as Havertz, but then what this guy is offering is the physical and the jumping, and Cruyff can't really provide that. Eusebio is decent in the air, but just not as uh, prolific as Havertz, you know? So it just, it depends on what you're looking for. Someone to hold on to the play, bring in other, other cards. Havertz is your man. You're looking for like a really, a, a, not so much a skiller, but a, a complete dribbler. Then obviously Eusebio is your, is your guy. But with all these new team of the season, surely you want to switch up your teams and try out new cards. And this guy should be priority for a lot of you boys. And he's going to continue to drop, I think. Two million coins for that. My God. Is he the best carom on the game? He's not far off. He really isn't. 
Uh, would I prefer to use him over Hume Sana? Well, I think Hume Sana is a better dribbler, and that's what I look for. Uh, but this guy, he made the game easy, and he scored a lot more goals than Hume Sana, that's for sure. So, yeah, if you can build him into a team, try him out for yourselves, and you will start believing. What a player. What a price at 2 million. Buy him up. Leave a like, and I will see you guys on the next one. Team out. Peace.